Hello, good afternoon to everybody watching. This is Kishai for those of you that are watching my video for the first time. Today I'm going to pick off from where I left off, was talking a little bit about Hinduism. And one of the books that I've been reading is The Path of Perfection. And the author, his name is A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. He's the founder of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And basically the book goes over the closer you get to God, the more you become one with God. You know, the more spiritual you become. And it talks a lot about yoga, of course, and um, desires in life. And first, we'll be discussing, of course, the age of Kali, which is the age of ignorance and chaos. Guess what? We are living in the age of Kali. And those of you all know out there, most of y'all out there are ignorant and you're not religious, you're not in one with God, and you don't you don't necessarily believe in a higher being. You're not in touch with yourself, and you kind of just go through the motions in life. Well, there are so many ways to get in touch with, you know, that, that higher being. Karma yoga action in Krishna consciousness is greater than, the, than just any typical type of yoga because yoga is not only exercising, yes it relaxes you, but yoga is also meant to be a union of the entire soul, the soul, mind, body, spirit, the whole human individual un, un, uniting. The closer you get to being spiritual, the more you become one with God. The desires that you have for material things, for possessions, you know, wealth, that sort of subsides and goes to the way once you really realize what's most important. And I, anytime I pray, anytime I chant mantra, whenever I'm in temple, materials are not a necessity, basically. It's just something to, you know, distract us in a society where you have to look your best, you know, you have to get this, this is the latest thing. There's nothing wrong with looking your best, there's nothing wrong with wanting, but you also must realize that God is everywhere with us. Hinduism, for me, it covers so many more aspects rather than just saying, you know, do this and you will attain salvation happy afterlife, everything to do with past life, reincarnation, respect, um, devotion of course, and just believing in something greater will drive you to a better path in your life. You, God will help you once you see the light, and religion isn't for everybody, but there's no hurt, no pain in learning something new. Why Hinduism means so much to me is because it has given me a different perspective on so many more things. It covers everything. And Hinduism is an eye-opener. The, the world is basically yours, you know, and that's how I feel. I feel because I am a Hindu, I understand anything that isn't necessarily a common fixture in my life. My favorite part of being a Hindu is being at temple and being with other youths and kind of experiencing the path of life through learning the Hindu values. And I love listening to the pundit always give us such knowledgeable information and gives us some guidance, you know, um, Pundit Bimal to be exact, he always has something positive to say, he's very constructive and it, it lifts your spirit completely and it's beneficial in your everyday life. You don't have to force your beliefs and instill your beliefs in others around you, but you can believe in it yourself and learn to tolerate others while still maintaining your Hindu way of life. I just wanted to share this with you. It really means so much to me. I, I just want to leave with you before you, the video ends. 
is just the basic tenets of Hinduism are truth, love, peace, duty, and nonviolence. Thank you for watching. I leave you with my blessings. God bless you. Have a good day. Thank you for everybody watching on the internet, all my MySpaces and YouTubers. And keep it locked here on YouTube. Look out for more episodes, more blogs on my MySpace and Facebook. Keep checking on me, all right? Love you. And um, God bless you. JJ Ram. Yes. I'm a nerd, aren't I? Yeah. Peace.